Hi, welcome to Excel video 53. We're going to go through another conditional formatting example today. I've got a sample fee schedule with some NM codes and the charge that maybe came out of my EMR, my uh, practice management system, and the Medicare physician fee schedule sample numbers there. And um, I've got some lookup things going on here. And what I want is, assuming I had a really long list, how could I find blanks or how could I find things where there's an error in my VLOOKUP and it says NA? How can I easily find those? So we're going to conditionally format for them. Let's start finding that blank cell first. And the way to do it is go to conditional formatting. Choose a new rule. We're back to the new formatting rules. And the rule type we want is format only cells that contain. We've seen a variety of examples in earlier videos with cell video getting specific text or specific text or dates. You can also find blanks, no blanks, errors, or no errors. So let's say, hey, I want to find blanks. And that's easy. There are no other options there. Let's play with some formatting here. Let's say I'm in the Fill tab here, and let's go to Fill Effects. And what I want to do is let's fill between those colors, and let's do something like this. Click OK. Click OK, click OK, and it formats that for me. And it says, hey, it's e really easy to find that charge. We can do the same thing to find errors, not just in A, but other errors that uh, may be in your Excel formulas. Conditional formatting, new rule, format cells that contain errors. Or you could, uh, you could do no errors as well if you want. So we're going to go to errors, and let's format, and we're going to do another fill. And let's just do a different fill effect this time. Let's do it from the center. And we want two colors again. We do from there to there. And that's what it's going to look like. And click OK. And now what I've got is a format that will capture all of the blank cells or all of the error cells in my range and you can sort and filter for those as well but it's a quick way to capture blanks and errors in your spreadsheet and you could set that up across the whole sheet if you wanted and by doing that it would quickly bring any errors to your attention if you format something like that so you can work on them before you publish it or take it to your doctors whatever it is you want to do hope that was an easier more straightforward example um, stay tuned next time we'll go through some more examples in the new rule menu and we'll look at some top and bottom ranked values Thanks for watching.